Hey everyone, it's me. Guess who's back? It's Dan, yeah. So, obviously this is a game that no one's seen before. This is a uh, game I just got, it's called Hover, Revolt of Gamers. And uh, it's like a parkour game, but it's incredibly fun. The only really downside is it's being made by three people. Which I mean, credit to you guys, complete kudos. Which is why you'll see a lot of these work in progress signs pretty much everywhere. But this game is called Hover Revolt of Gamers. I don't really know the plot as of yet. I think from what it seems is that there's like, I want to say he's called the Great Admin and he has outlawed all video games. And you are trying to make like a resistance pact and you are trying to bring them all back. That's what I've gotten out of it. But the game's really fun. It takes a lot of bass off of Jet Set Radio and Mirror's Edge, if it wasn't obvious already. So if you hold down the button, you can do a backflip. If you're running sideways and you hold down the button, you can do a side flip. And the entire game is open world, which is lovely. And it even has an experience system, which I think is great. But probably one of the greater things is how flawlessly it just switches camera angles. So it's like, I'm in the third person, right? Bam, first person. So I get to play this game from the first person. First person's really fun if you feel like trying that, but third person's easier for like climbing stuff. So like, left and right mouse both do the same thing. Shift crouches. Like, I had to actually rebind some of the keys because originally the arrow keys moved, which was a little bit uh, hard to control, but either way, the game is lovely. And right now I want to say we're in like the slums or something. And you have to jump through these things to get experience because they're like anti-video game propagandas. Oop. Can I make it? I can't. But... Oh. Something just glowed. Pink. Oh. Yeah, you can find these, uh, they're not game boys, they're game girls. You can find these game girls. And you get a ton of experience. If you find them. But you can climb up these walls. And... I'm gonna see... I'm gonna switch to third person. So I can show you... The, uh upper reaches so we're not in slums so I'm just gonna jump up here and another mechanic about it is that if you're at a ledge you instantly grab on so you don't have to worry about missing it or not and you have to push a button to pull yourself up but past that that's not really anything that's not anything bad so I have to jump here And basically anything that is a straight line, you can grind a cron, a cron, a cross, I missed a cross, and on. You can basically mix all of that. And in case it wasn't obvious, I've, uh, I've played this level before. Right now it's still in, oh, yeah, pushing R also does this rewind thing. It doesn't bring time backwards, but it just brings you backwards to your last known location interesting about it is that you keep all your momentum but I played this for a while already I'm already level 7 out of 10 it's in super alpha because there's only three guys working on it and a couple mechanics are pretty prevalent in there so like you have this energy because you're like a robot or something yeah I think you're a robot uh oh I fell you're like a robot, but because of that, you can survive really big falls, like I just did. And I can't jump up there, it appears. Maybe if I had a hover heat, which is when you charge up. Here we go, I got a hover heat. Got it. But the game itself is absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. 
uh, if you push and hold the uh, left click or right click, it turns into a scan. It shows you everything you can do across the entire area. But you can grind on that, run into a pole. Well, this is not intentional. There's graffiti everywhere because it's supposed to be like a slum or something. But and then. There's security cameras. You see the little red lights over there? Security cameras. So, if you get caught in those, there's not really much of a concern. They'll just bring you to a little spot. Like, you're not fined or anything. You're not instantly put in a jail. Like, I just got caught by one. Like, whatever. I can outrun it. Which is no concern whatsoever. But, yeah, there's my, uh... There's the thing that's chasing me. A secure box. Just grind on this. And jump out of the way. A secure box just got hit by a truck. So I'm just gonna jump out of the way. That was a bad jump. Oops. Whatever. Oh, it got me. Oh well. It's just gonna bring me to a little location. I don't lose anything my knowledge yep don't lose anything it just brings me to the closest one of these so for a game made by a whole three people this is lovely like I plan on doing this game a lot more like I'm probably gonna make a big video on it every single time it updates so the developers at a uh, oh, what's your name? I forgot the name of the company <laughs> whoops Alright, but the developers, at the company I can't remember, just keep up the good work, man. Or guys, or gals, or, I don't really know, it's made by three people. Which I think is just amazing. So yeah, this was, uh, this was Hover Revolt of Gamers, episode one. And I'll get back to you guys when updates happen. For now, though, this is, this is pretty much all we got. Right. Peace out.